Uh, this is our Facts of Mars, and I'm addressing Beto O'Rourke. I can't believe you said this. This is a direct quote. Hell yes. We're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. No, you're not, Mr. O'Rourke. I'm addressing you directly. You're not going to take your guns. If he wants to take those, he'll, you know, take your shotgun, too. And he'll take your twenty two. He'll take them all. This is an un-American P.O.S. I'm just going to say it. He's an un-American piece of shit. Uh, I got a message for you, Mr. O'Rourke. You're not going to be allowed to do that. Because if you try, I'll just let you use your imagination what's going to happen. Bale was asked if he supported confiscating guns, which he said he did, qualifying if it's a weapon that was designed to kill people on a battlefield. That's BS. Uh, he'll take your twenty twos, he'll take your shotguns, so on and so forth. Uh, try killing a squirrel, for instance, with a bow and arrow. A bow and arrow hit on a squirrel would be the wildest stroke of luck. No, Mr. O'Rourke, here's what I suggest that you do immediately. Go to Cuba. Go directly to Cuba. Do not pass go. Do not collect guns. I suggest you read our Declaration of Independence for this country. You'll learn what's going to happen if you try. Sorry, it's not going to happen. I don't even have one of, one of the ones he mentioned, but it doesn't matter. If he, like I said, if he took, takes those, he'll take, the, take them all. And Nancy Pelosi is on record as saying, I think it was Nancy Pelosi, maybe it was Diane Feinstein, one of those pieces of garbage, said, if I could, I'd tell Mr. and Mrs. American, turn them all in. It's not going to happen. Go to Cuba. Go directly to Cuba and don't come back. I said, don't come back. Are you getting this, Mr. O'Rourke? That's all I got to say. Go to Cuba and don't come back. Don't come back. I'm Artifacts of Mars.